Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another video. And today, we're gonna be showing y'all how to make what you see on the screen. So, let's straight to it. If you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Then, we'll be much appreciated. But, without it being said, let's straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing I wanna do is go to Photoshop, go to File, and then you wanna go to New, and you just wanna pick 1280 by 720. After you do this, you wanna get your screenshot, and I already have it. So, I'm gonna just go to File, Open, and I'm gonna bring in the screenshot right here. And after I bring it in, hit Control C on your keyboard, then come over here and hit Control V. And I'ma just click the edge, then um, make it bigger by like pulling the size. And I'ma just make it the size I want to. So I'm probably gonna make it. Let me see. Yeah, I probably make it like this size right there. All right. So next thing you wanna do is hit P on your keyboard. We're gonna start cutting out some. Hit Control and the plus symbol to zoom in. And I'ma just bring this over and kind of start cutting it out. So I'm gonna just click and bring this around and I got a cut out tutorial. I'm gonna put that in the description so you can look at that. But I'm gonna speed this part up and I'm gonna be better y'all when I get done cutting out. All right, so next thing you wanna do is click on this right here. And I'm basically connecting the dots. So you just right click, make your selection, and then hit okay, and make sure your feather is on one. Now you can go to this tool over here. This is the polygonal lasso tool, and just go to it. I right click and went over to it, like so. And right click, select inverse, and you only gotta do that if you're messed up. You really shouldn't have to do that. So for you, you can just hit control J. And then after go right here, pick brightness and contrast, create a clipping mask and up the brightness on it. Now what I'm about to do now is bring in the background of like a snow image and I'm put this in the description. If I put in like a pack or whatever, I'm putting the description regardless. So just make sure you grab that if you want yours to look like this. All right, so I'm gonna get this screenshot right here. So hit control C and you just come over here, hit control V and basically just make it what size you want to. So I'm gonna probably make my like, let me see. Probably about something like that. Then I'm gonna go over here, brightness and contrast. I'm gonna just open the brightness on the background. Then I'm gonna go up here, click on the layer, select, and then pick sky. And some people might not have this. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. But just hit control J once that pops up. And then I'm gonna go and go to skylight over here. And you see, I was trying to look up something that didn't work out, but just type in sky like I do. And yeah, I'm gonna pick this one right here. And it's a lot of different ones you can pick. I used to use this one, but I'm gonna try to go with a different one. So just right click, copy the image, come down here, control V, create a uh, right click, create a clipping mask. And like that, you just make it bigger and you can pull it down on the image. After you've done all that, you see over here, it looks a little awkward or whatever. So hit B on your keyboard to go to this like brush tool. And I clicked on this to create a mask. So you wanna hit B after that. Make sure you're on the black color and just kind of click over here to make like the color come out a little bit. And this, this is what that does. Like you can take it out and put like the regular sky and blend it with it a little. So yeah. So just come over here, mess your brightness a little bit more and you'll have something like this. Next thing you wanna do is create a new layer above this. Hit B on your keyboard and go down here to the color picker, pick the white color. And you just want to click on the sides with it with your brush. And yeah, just click like over here. Whatever size you want. I'm making it bigger and smaller with the brackets on your keyboard also. So that's what I'm using. Alright, so like that. Crank the layer. And then put one like behind the character also. And you can put this on screen, load opacity. Now on the actual thumbnail, I put it on overlay. 
but it probably would just look better on screen in my opinion so you can just put on screen next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go up here go to right on um, vibrance and go to vibrance and up some saturation like so oh yeah and then after this i'm gonna go to file open and i'm open like this live png sticker right here hit control c on the keyboard come over here control v and just make sure you like above everything and then you would just drag it over here basically oh yeah you can put it like over here i i like putting mine on the character but my character i mean the character not that close and this thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the animated lines to it also so just go file open and i'm gonna get the animated lines and i'm gonna add this on here and control c come over here control v go to screen and make a little bit bigger like this so it should look something like that and just make sure your live thing is above like everything you put on here Next thing I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna add like some Christmas trees on here. So I'm gonna go look that up. I just typed in Christmas tree PNG to find it. And once you get the one you want, you can, uh, I don't even need to type in tree, but once you get the one you want, you will see which one you wanna choose. So yeah, you can just use whatever, but I'm probably just gonna get a new one or whatever. So I'll be back with y'all when I get it. All right, so once you got your image, just bring it in here. I already hit control C on it. So I just hit control V and it comes straight in. And make sure like it's behind my player, but put it like above the white stuff. You'll see what I'm talking about. So just bring it in. And once you bring it in, you want to place one kind of like over here. So I'm going to place one right here. Create a new layer and keyboard. Hit B on your keyboard, then go to color picker and pick the black color. And I'm going to just place like a dot right there, hold shift, and then drag this down with my mouse while holding it. You can drag this over also. And you just want to put this below. And I'm just make like a simple shadow. It doesn't have to be the best one. That's why I'm not really trying to hold on. But you just make a simple shadow with it. Then create a new layer on this. Create a clipping mask. Hit B on your keyboard again. Make sure on the black color. And you kind of want to make it like dark at the bottom of this. And you can just go over here and mess with the color on it. After that, hold shift. Like, click the top layer, hold shift, grab, then tap the bottom one while holding it, and hit control J. This is gonna make it like a duplicate of that layer, but a duplicate of everything. And I'm just dragging this, like, kind of down here, also. So I have like two of them. Next thing I'm gonna do is add the text on here. We're pretty much gonna be done with it. So now I got like this cellular pack. I'm gonna put this in the description. And if I don't, as before, and I'm just seeing the link to purchase it. But I'm gonna get these layer styles. So I'm gonna hit control C on this, bring this in, hit control V. You know, I'm also gonna draw like an alternative one in the come. I mean, description also. So you control C on this. Come over here, control V. And now that you have two of them, I'm just name this. And then come down here and put this live. And I'm gonna leave the font all that in the description. So yeah, just have this right here. And you can kind of uh, place it like something like that. And after you're done, hold control and get like both of them while holding control and then hit control E on it and bring it below all of this stuff. And just make sure it's above the my player up here. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to file open and I'm gonna bring in the 2K22 logo. So just go to our second pack and go to 2K logos and then go to 2K22 logo, hit control C on this. Come over here, hit control V. Right click, blend the options, and then add a stroke to it. And you can pick like this side stroke. Right click, uh, rasterize your layer style. And yeah, bring it in like that. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, so now hold control and then go on this light and hold control, pick the other layer. So you got like 2K22 logo on the bottom. Next thing you want to do is make it a little bit bigger to where it fills up the whole image and have it like that. So you click the top and then go to warp and then go to arc and then just arc it like so and get it kind of like that. And then you want to right click on the blend the options and then you add a draw shadow to it. And you can just mess with the distance and use all my settings that I got on there. So now that I got that, you can kind of move it over some. And the next thing I'm going to do is add these like Christmas lights to the background. You really don't got to do this. 
you don't want to, but I'm just going here and get it. So hit control C on it. And come over here. Hit control V. So you just do like this and make it a little bit bigger. And put them on there. So once you put them on, you can just pull up the saturation. And then hit control J. And bring it down here also. And then after you do that, you're pretty much done. So you just go to the top layer, hold shift, and then click the bottom and turn it to a group. Then hit control J on it and hit control E. Hit M on your keyboard, right click, and make sure on the marquee tool, and then hit control J again, right click, convert it to smart object, and you slow it down if I'm talking too fast. And that's pretty much how you do it. Now, what I'm about to do now is show you um, a preset that I use, and I'm gonna put the preset pack in the description. And then I'm gonna show you my Topaz Lab Center and my Magic Bullet Sets that I use on stuff like this. So if you don't have a preset pack, what you can do is just go over here and add some texture to it. And I honestly might not even use the presets to be honest. And you can add some contrast because it actually looks kind of good. And yeah, you can add some some of this also maybe. Oh yeah, once you got that, hit OK. The next thing you want to do is go filter magic blue looks and after that you can just copy these settings i'm using this this and this not that much and then once you get done with that you just want to go to filter and topaz labs and go to mild details on it and just kind of mess with that also hit apply hit Control j after you go to filter blur gaussian blur then go to lighter color. I think I put mine on like 18, 17. Create a new layer. Hold um. Then you, you want to create a new layer. Go to your burst by hitting B and hold Alt and click like a color. Then click a color. So I'm holding Alt. I click a color. And then use that color. So that's what it's doing. I click and you should be able to see my little keyboard up there also. So, so I just do this. Go to screen. Lord opacity and it should look something like that and that's pretty much how you make it and yeah so the next thing you want to do is go to file export and then export as and once you export it just do it like this and you can just name the file whatever you want and then after you get done you can hit control s now we'll do this before i'm done but hit control s and save it and yeah, this is the PSD I'm be giving y'all. So if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all drop a like. Subscribe to be more dragon. Peace out.